Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, we have an exciting day here in San Antonio at Northside. Uh, we'll have Katie starting off. We'll have Ryan coming in afterward and Missy following that. And then at 10 o'clock, we'll go out and have an open training session. Our, our team will come in two different groups. So there'll be a 10 o'clock group and an 11 o'clock group. And then we'll, uh, that'll be open for you guys to shoot. And then we'll have some interviews uh, in, the, in the indoor pool. We'll give you all some shade and, and the athletes some shade. And then we'll have Michael and, and Nathan back in this room later on. So uh, it's been an exciting camp. We arrived on Tuesday. And uh, I'll turn it over to Katie and let her tell you about what we've been doing here and how things have been going. So to my left is Katie Ledecky. Um, you want to just give a brief uh, yeah, opening sure. remark? Um, it's been great being here in San Antonio for a couple of days. Uh, it's been a lot of fun with the team. We're all getting along really well, coming together as a team, and um, having a lot of fun, still training hard, and getting ready for, for Rio. We don't have any crowd mics, but if you could raise your hand, we'll call on you. And if you could just identify yourself to Katie, who you are. And, oh, there, is, there are mics? Oh, fantastic. Um, just raise your hand, and, and we'll get you. Karen. Katie, when you um, are talking to young kids, when there are young swimmers who want to meet you, how many of them say they're distance swimmers and do you get the sense they like distance because of you? Um, some, some say they're distance swimmers, <laughs> not very many. <laughs> um, the, few, the few, the proud. <laughs> um, I think, um, you know, I, I hope there are, are people that, and young swimmers that that want to try the distance events. I know I always wanted to try every event when I was younger and kind of just see which ones I liked, which ones I w was good at. Um, and I found from an early age, you know, 10, 11, 12, that I liked the distance events and that I was good at them. So I stuck with those. And um, I think, I hope that young swimmers are inspired or encouraged by all of us on the team. Um, and I think uh, U.S. distance swimming has come pretty far in the last couple of years. Um, not just me. I think um, overall, uh, I mean, Leah and I are going in to Rio as top two in the world in the 400. And um, she had a great 800 as well in, in Omaha. So I think it's really excited both on the women's and men's side. And hopefully we can inspire some younger swimmers to try the longer races. Give it a shot. I can ask a follow. Nathan said at trials that he notices that people are now sticking around for the distance swimmer swimming races when, especially when you're in it. Do you notice that? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's always good when the crowd sticks around. Uh, sometimes the distance event is at the end of the session or, or something like that, and you always wonder, oh, well, people just leave or, or whatever. But um, no, it's it's been good to see everyone stick around, even at Grand Prix kind of meets. Um, and just, you know, to have, have that support means a lot to us. And uh, we, <laughs> we, we have the long races. So yeah, you know, I understand that you might not want to sit through it all, but they can be exciting races. And uh, hopefully we can, can continue to make them exciting. <laughs> A lot of people are talking about how many rookies there are on this particular team. Um, you were not too recently a rookie yourself. Right. What would you say about how that affects the dynamic of the team, having so much new rookies? I think it's great for the dynamic of the team. Um, the rookies really add an energy and a spark to the team, um, to the veterans. And then the veterans can pass on all of the knowledge from their past Olympics. Uh, so everyone is really prepared and excited about the Olympics. Um, I think for me, I, I was a rookie in 2012 and I feel like it's still just as exciting this time around. And I think a large part of that probably has to do with seeing the excitement from the rookies and also feeling like I'm a part of a, a really special team with some legendary swimmers uh, who have been to three, four, five Olympics. And um, it's just special to be a part of. Yeah, I feel like I'm still learning a lot, but I think just to enjoy every every minute of the experience, um, 
the Olympics is unlike any other meet. Um, it, you're in the village with people from all different sports, all different countries, and you get to interact with them. And I think you really should value and appreciate those moments and um, spend the time just kind of looking back and thinking, wow, this is a, this is a pretty cool thing. And uh, we all want to do our best in the pool to inspire everyone back home. And I think just, just kind of enjoying it, not getting nervous, um, made it this far. And uh, it's time to just sort of show what you, you can do, kind of our time to shine. Uh, for Sports Illustrated Kids, what made you want to start swimming? I started swimming when I was six years old uh, with my older brother, Michael, who was nine at the time. Um, and we joined a summer league swim team, the Palisades Porpoises. And we loved it right from the get-go. And, um, and then after that first summer of summer league swimming, we joined a year-round swim team. And I've been on the same swim team ever since. Some question. For Kids Bill News, what, what advice would you give a parent that has a child that's young and really into competitive swimming? What, what advice would you uh, Just to let their kids um, do what they have fun with. Um, I played a number of different sports growing up and um, did a number of different activities. And my parents just let me do what I loved. And they never pushed me into swimming. They never pushed me into any other sport. Um, they just kind of gave me all the options and I really loved that. And then as I got older, I kind of would pick swim practice over basketball practice or pick swim practice over soccer practice. And I just sort of veered towards swimming and eventually I was not doing any of the other sports and was really just focusing on school and swimming and, um, and everything else. But um, I, think, I think just to encourage your, your kid to do what they love and um, just kind of take a step back every once in a while and let them do what they they enjoy doing. Okay, you were saying this was your second Olympiad. You said the team's coming together. How does this team strength compare to London? How does this team what? How does your team strength compare to four years ago? What do you think? I think uh, I think the team's stronger than ever, um, and I think again that's um, because of the mix of rookies and veterans and. Uh, people with a lot of Olympic experience and some swimmers that are really coming off of a lot of momentum from Olympic trials. And I think um, I think we'll be able to bring a number of medals home and um, hopefully do better than we ever have. Uh, this is Wing Chun from China Central Television. Uh, you currently hold a lot of world record, and I just want to know: Do you do you expect there's someone now is as competitive as you are, and keep you more motivated? Yeah, I'm 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 always motivated by um, competing against the best. Um, obviously, going to the Olympics will be swimming against the very best in the world, and um, I expect good competition and and tough races and. That's what I, I train for every day, to be in those races and be able to get my hand to the wall first. And um, that's what we're all training for. We're all, we're all shooting for gold, and uh, hopefully we can bring some back. Katie, were you in the room the other day when Pop came? Yeah, Pop yesterday. Came? What was his message to you guys and for San Antonio media? It's like, how cool was that to have him speak to you? Yeah, it was really cool. Um, it was pretty unexpected for all of us. Um, and I guess he brought Tony Parker, and I guess uh, USA Swimming didn't even invite an athlete. Uh, Coach Pop just brought him along, so that was really cool. Um, so yeah, his message was just to you know, enjoy representing the US, and um, he talked a lot about sort of the qualities he looks for in his players, and we had the opportunity to ask him questions, and that's where he really talked about his team, and um, kind of, again, the qualities he looks for in players, and some of, he just told some funny stories and uh, was a really cool guy. Katie, Tim Duncan was a 400 freestyler before he turned to oh, basketball. Yeah. So now that he has time he on swimmer. his hands. I didn't know he was a 400 freestyler. Um, the, when you had um, Bruce come as the coach right after London, that could have been a really difficult 
difficult situation. Why do you think it was so seamless to transition? Uh, I think it's really because of how great of a coach Bruce is. Um, it was not not hard at all to to get into good training with him, and um, it it was just great. It was it was seamless, as he said, and um, we just had. A lot of fun getting to know each other and um, just sort of getting into a good rhythm of training. And I think each year has gotten better and better. And um, yeah, it was, you know, it was tough at first to hear that that Yuri was was going to Cal, but um, I couldn't be happier for Yuri how his four years have gone at Cal and um, obviously how my four years have gone here with Bruce. Um, I think it was it was it's just been a great situation these last couple of years. Do you think the fact that you had had that month with Coach Urbanchek and kind of knew the color code yeah. and workouts and it liked that, did that help or make a difference? Yeah, and I didn't even know um, what Bruce's training philosophy was or, or how he, how his practices ran or anything like that, but I knew that, um, that he had worked with John Urbanchek for a while and, and learned a lot from him and with how much I loved John at the training camp uh, four years ago, like this training camp, um, I knew it would be, um, uh, you know, I knew Bruce would be a great coach. Great. Katie, do you have any Zika virus concerns? I mean, some athletes aren't going, we've got a lot of male golfers, golfers, basketball right, right. players. Uh, no, I'm not concerned. Um, you know, I think we've all been prepared and we know we're 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 really w well prepared. Um, we have treated our clothes. We have mosquito spray. Um, I think you know it'll be winter in in Brazil at the time, and um, there shouldn't be as many mosquitoes. And I think um, you know it's we don't want that to be at the forefront of our minds, and it isn't at the forefront of my mind. Um, my focus is on my swimming and competing as well as I can, and I feel like I've been prepared prepared really well in a way that it doesn't need to be at the forefront of my mind. Great. Thanks, Katie. We appreciate your time. Thank you.